Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is April 2016. I began tutoring Nick in math when he was in the fifth grade, age 10. He is now in the seventh grade, age 12. In my opinion, Nick is a very intelligent student, but I don't think that his math curriculum places much emphasis on development of critical thinking skills, problem solving skills. And so that's what I tried to focus on in this most recent tutoring session with Nick. It was a 45 minute session. It can be divided naturally into five parts. And so that can be five videos. This video is part one. Okay, my purpose here is to, uh, it's the same purpose I've, no, thank you. Okay. My purpose is to um, help you to use your brain and think critically and uh, it's a problem, problem solving. I wrote out this problem for you. And let me move you in a little bit. Make sure he's all one with the cushion. Yeah, he is. All right. <clears throat> A crazy farmer kept track of his chickens and cows by counting their heads and legs. He counted 10 heads and 26 legs. How many cows did he have and how many chickens? Okay. So, if he's counting uh, cows and chickens, you gotta know what a cow and a chicken is. Correct. Uh, yes, you have to know something about them, something about their anatomy. Mm -hmm. um, what specifically do you need to know about them? Uh, how many heads they have and how many legs they have. Okay. That's so, right. a cow, if you've ever seen one, pretty large thing, two legs in the front, two legs in the back. That's right. So, that would be four four legs for one cow. Yes. Which I say is some pretty important information. That's right. Now, a chicken uh, I think they have two feet. Yeah, chicken has exactly yeah. two legs. Okay, now a chicken, you know, their thing comes up, their little collar thing, and they have one head. Yes, of course. And a cow, they also have one head. That's right. Sorry if I'm going a little bit slow. I just want to analyze everything. Right. Make sure it's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So he counted 10 heads and 26 legs. How many cows did he have? And how many chickens did he have? Well, 26 legs. We'll, we'll kind of do that first. So, you could do... Are you going to draw anything? I, I don't mean necessarily draw a cow to look like a cow or draw a chicken to look like a chicken, but are you going to make any kind of diagram to represent this? I, I think I am. If you are, what would you draw in the diagram first? I draw the heads. That's a good idea. And uh, I wouldn't bother to make them look mm -hmm. like cows or yeah. chickens. You might Probably just... just put like a circle in a, okay. in a like a rectangle. Oh, okay, it's a, a circle. How many circles will you draw? A uh, pen. Okay, do that. Line them up.
Okay. That's ten heads right here. Yeah. <clears throat> Each one of these represents uh, one of these things. A cow, either a cow or a chicken. A cow or a chicken, correct. So, and now we draw the legs. Yes, how would you do that? Um, have you ever seen a tally, like a tally chart where you keep track of things? Yes. I, I say maybe I should do a tally. Okay, um, right. what are you going to put? Are you going to put something under each circle? What would you put under the first circle? Oh, I'd put two tallies for okay. a chicken. Oh, okay. Uh, or that's, that's reasonable. You could do four tallies for a cow. But you, are you sure that it has four legs? Okay. Are, you, are you sure that this one has four legs? No. Okay. So, so are, are you sure that it has at least two legs? Yes. Okay. Because... Are, are you sure that every one of those has at least two legs? For sure. Okay. So... Because you can't have a head with no legs. Okay. Because you can't live. So what could you tally that you are sure of? I could tally all of these um, with two legs. Okay, do that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we already know this right here, it's, it's 10 heads. We have that first part down. Yes. So, how many cows did he have and how many chickens did he have? Well, we're kind of finishing the opposite part first is because it would help us to answer the cows because we specifically know that each head at least has two legs. Right. So, how many chickens? represents first so right here we have two legs four legs six legs eight legs ten legs six eight legs right here we have 20 legs 20 legs yes 20 legs that you're sure of yes <clears throat> how would i label that should I just put like an arrow with 20 legs? I don't know, you, 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 you've got it clearly in your mind. Mm -hmm. So so then what do you do now that you know about these 20 legs, what do you do next? And now you see what chickens you have to take out to turn them into cows. That's right, how would you figure that out? <clears throat> well, each cow has four legs. That's right. I for sure know that. So, if we have 20 legs, what we have to do is we have to make one of these into a cow, as of right now. So, I'll well, make... Why do you have to do that? Why couldn't they all be chickens? Well, because he, he wanted to know how many cows and chickens they have. And since a chicken has 20 legs, you can't have a cow and then a half a cow. Okay. If you do it. So do you know how many? Can you figure out how many of those will have to be cows? So we're trying to get the total count of uh, 26 legs. So. Yeah, it's 26 legs altogether. <clears throat> so let's make 
this one into a cow. The first one, add two more legs onto it. Yeah. That is 24. No, it isn't. Or it's uh, 22, my bad. 22, yeah. 22. 22. We'll make this one a cow. So it would be 24. And we'll make this one a cow. And that would be 26. That's true. So, how many cows and chickens did he have? Well, according to our great looking graph we have here, we have three cows and, That's right. and seven chickens. That's right. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, make the numbers bigger so that uh, it will be too tedious for you to draw a diagram. You'll have to kind of think through it probably without a diagram. So that concludes part one of my tutoring session with Nick. Parts two, three, four, and five will follow. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.